Rotations are pretty cool. They're a kind of transformation, um, which takes a shape, let's say this triangle here, and turns it around a central point. So in this case, my uh, central point happens to be the origin. That makes things nice and easy. Um, and um, the shape can be rotated either direction, um, clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, a counterclockwise rotation is, is a positive rotation. A negative rotation is uh, clockwise, like this. So here's a negative rotation. Um, and the, uh, the rotation can occur by any, any degrees. So it could be a 10 degree rotation, a negative 1,000 degree rotation, um, a 47 degree rotation. Doesn't matter. Um, for our purposes, um, we'll be doing 90 degree. 270 degree, um, 180 degree, those kinds of rotations with uh, nice simple degree measurements. Um, otherwise it gets pretty complicated. Um, um, the main idea though is, is the whole shape is being turned around a central point and actually each point in the shape, the original shape, will remain a fixed distance from that central point. So um, point A, however far it is from the center here, um, I'm not sure what that is, eyeballing, um, I don't know, I could probably calculate. Anyway, what, let's just magically say that's a distance of 7. Well, um, this distance here, after it's been rotated, will still be 7. It'll still be a distance of 7 from that central point. It'll just be in a different um, location um, um, with respect to that point, but it'll be, it'll be the same distance, and that's what creates this nice circle when you when you rotate an object. Um, so shape can be rotated clockwise or counterclockwise by any angle and it's a, it's a transformation which puts the shape um, usually in a different location but such that all its points are the same distance from um, the center point uh, that they were before the rotation.